one second then. Okay, let me shut this down. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, wow. Okay, good morning, family. Good morning, girls. How is everyone? Anyway, it is a video day in May, video number 23. And family, I had to come on and talk about this right here that I have seen on the news. Now, I have completely tuned in to myself the last few days and I kind of got away from the news because it's just a reoccurrence of who got got, who got shot all day, every day. Hey, and, um, and so I just had to completely just kind of get away from that a little bit because it was just too much. But, um, and then not only that, I'm sick of 45 and his antics, the bullshit. I'm like, okay, at what point does the impeachment investigation begin? Because they're going to have to go through impeachment investigation before they go through the impeachment process. So when do we start the impeachment investigation or has that begun yet? And we're just not discussing that. And now they're bringing these other cats Kami and all these people into back into question now to kind of get, you know, more evidence and more solid things on him to impeach him. See, the thing is, fam, you got to understand, when a man is as powerful as he is, it's a lot going into that. You better make sure your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed because money is very, very powerful. And it just goes to show with this whole situation as to what money can buy and what money can do and how money is the rule of all evil. And there's so much power behind that dollar that is just unbelievable. But here they showing a disconnect between him and his first lady. And when I saw this, it spearheaded me into this message to deliver to my girls on today. Now, last night, I did a video over 30 minutes. I tried to upload that video three times. It would not upload. This morning, it gives me a message on my iPad that the video was too long and that I would only be able to chunk it up to send it, right? So, um, I just sent the back end of it, and I said, okay, well, we'll discuss it further later or whatever the case. So I'm like, okay, how do I present this information in which a way that, you know, um, I'm not going to put the other word on it, but how can I just present this information? Let me just say that. And so... I see on the news how, you know, it's just all over the place how the first lady swatted 45's hand down as they were walking, you know, on the runway or whatever. It looked like it was a runway. I don't know what, what, what where they was or whatever. Don't, didn't really give a fuck. But, you know, but they've been showing this reoccurring on the news. And so, and I was like, it was just, it just affirmed for me that this lady is truly in a situation that she doesn't know how to get out of. You understand what I'm saying? When you're with somebody that have a lot of money, a lot of power, it comes narcissism, which also branches down to manipulation, abuse, mind games, trivias, just, oh my God. I can only imagine what this lady feels. And and the thing is, whenever she gets any room to have a voice, when it pertains to him, she she pretty much lets it be known. Now, how she swatted his hand back, now, you know, some motherfuckers, I don't know how some people was taking it. But as for me, it just took me into this whole video right here. Because it just goes to show that she's really sick of him. She's really sick of him. Hey, baby. Wow. She's really sick of him. <laughs> Hold on, babe. Okay. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> 
And so, <laughs> um, so, damn it. She's sick of his ass. And the bottom line is, she's also afraid. She doesn't really know how to leave him. You know what I mean? She's gotten accustomed to this lifestyle, you know, and she's been in his shadow. She's been his doormat completely. Her self-esteem is fucked up, and you can tell it. She, you, do you rarely see her smile or engage people? She pretty much stays out the way. And one report was saying that she prefers to stay in New York City at Trump Towers than to stay in the White House with this motherfucker. So he's basically using the system and taxpayer dollars and putting it all on their, uh, you know, in his budget or in his security fees or whatever to run his household in New York City because she wants to stay there. And then he vacationing and taking his breaks at his own resorts, which means the government is picking up the tab on that plus the security of all this. This shit is a scam, it's a scheme, and it's just going to crash and burn. In a few more minutes, we are on a collision course of watching some bullshit unfold. But as I watch this lady, honestly, per in my personal opinion, I think the only way she feels as though she can get out of this is for him to go ahead on and die. Because the thing is, her self-esteem is probably so low. Because when you're dealing with somebody with that much control, they don't have no form of repercussions. They don't know what that is. He don't know what the fuck repercussions is because he's used to paying his way through everything. You know, having the people to pay and the people to run his errands or whatever. He's a shot caller. So when you are a shot caller, you're not accustomed to being told no. You can look at him and tell he don't he he's completely disconnected to feelings whatsoever. He don't have no filter in him on whatever falls out of his mouth. He just says whatever. So can you imagine the way he treats her at home when he's going through all of the stress of all this bullshit that's swirling around his ass right now? Can you imagine what he's written her on her ass? She didn't want to go down there no motherfucking way. She really, really didn't. But now you want to show face like we all like that in front of everybody. Like, um, I ain't want to hold your hand. Get up off me. I don't want to, what, I'm just here. I Actually, I didn't mind staying in New York City. I'm down here because to make you look good on what you got going. But this is some bullshit. That's what I got from it. What y'all get from it? But the thing is, there are so many women living in this particular darkness. Don't know how to get out of it. And the thing is, these particular men right here, they are predators. They are truly predators. And to to him, he's, you know, he attract he's attracted to her, her her get down, her style, her looks and all that. And, you know, it's subjective. What one man may find attractive, another man don't find that attractive. So that's what he's attracted to. So to him, oh, my God, he feel like he had the bomb when he first met her, you know. And she didn't have all of that. Didn't they say she was, you know, low-key on some old pole shit or waitressing or whatever? She was on some bullshit like that from the very beginning. On how she met him, from what I understand. I don't give a fuck about it, so don't come and tell me, oh, no, she was really working at Coco's. I don't give a shit either way. But it's just going to show that he swept her off her, her feet, put, put her in a lifestyle that she did not know nothing about, and she got trapped up and swore up in this bullshit by design for the simple fact that he was attracted to her. But in the meantime and in between time, the narcissism that I feel, in my personal opinion, that's any, he belittled this woman, talked down to her, made her feel like she wasn't shit. So then, therefore, all she feels as though she just stayed with him, you know, because it's a venom. It is truly a venom, venom and it becomes a habit. And that narcissism behavior, they know how to pull you in. They know, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go shopping. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let me buy you this. Let me buy you that to overshadow what the fuck they done done to keep you in. Because the bottom line is, I don't give a shit what color, what race, what religion. 
A man's weakness is a woman. And a woman's weakness is materialistic shit. Now, it can go from a different range, from one range to another, because riches are subjective. What one woman may find to be the shit, another woman is, you're insult, that's an insulting bullshit. You want to get my nails done. What is that? That's insulting to someone. But then there's some chicks, they are just as satisfied with a man giving them them giving them some money to go get them a little pedicure, manicure, whatever the case, a full set. They are just content with he putting in on four or five bundles and taking her down there to get some cheddar biscuits. She's just satisfied with it. That is her weakness of bullshit. That's her. That is her. Uh, what is what's the word I want to say? That is her v vision of materialistic shit. You know, him buying her some, some him and her jerseys to match. That's considered as her materialistic shit. But then there's some women over here, as I seen last night, T.I. bought Tiny a badass sports car Mercedes out the game. So, see, that would be her kryptonite of her materialistic shit. She accepted it like a motherfucker. Well, she was supposed to. And you done done all this to me. And then now you're giving me gifts. Okay, no problem. I'll take that. But good night. You know what I'm saying? She was supposed to do that. But when you're dealing with men that have money, that is a power to them. And to them, they feel as though they are showing you love and showing you compassion by spending their money on you. There's nothing about their feelings. Because when you have so much money and so much power, you're disconnected from feelings. You're accustomed to paying. See, that is the difference of dealing with a man that have and a man that have not. But even a man that have not, he still feels though he have because he might have more than the next man. You understand what I'm saying? And see, what I'm saying is, you know, people respond to their level of vision. If you're in a, in a community of, say... A couple hundred thousand people. There's regional motherfuckers in that area that's just, you know, they're balling out of control based on their surroundings, based on what the people in that area are accustomed to. So this regional motherfucker is like a celebrity to everybody in their community because it's based on their surroundings and, you know, what the vision is of that area. But then, hell, you're subjected to go to, say, Beverly Hills and shit. Th what this regional motherfucker got going on ain't shit compared to the lowest of motherfucker that's staying over there in that area. You Do you understand? What, do you understand the point that I'm trying to make? What I'm saying is it's just subjective. Riches are subjective. What one people may find as riches, oh, my God, I'm balling out of control. I'm able to do this and this and this. You are just a regional motherfucker compared to what somebody else is able to do. But the women that these men attract, they demean the fuck out of them. You could see a woman that is so beautiful. There's a man somewhere in her past, somewhere in her life that have pretty much dogged her the fuck out. I'm telling you, the probability, because men that of power, the women that are on their arm, to them, they're going to get the 11s of whatever they get down is. They're picking the 11, period, okay? But that 11 has to bear the grunt and the weight of this motherfucker's emotional trip. Whatever he's going through emotionally, he's winning it all on this lady right here. Because... His face to the world has to be a face of strength, a face of power, a, a face of, you know, all this right here. Look at me, check me out, I got all this going. But his woman is his doormat, his punching bag, his um, whatever, whatever else you want to call it. So as I'm looking at this lady, she really sick of this motherfucker. But ain't no telling how much he has hurt her mentally and never know. She's probably afraid to leave that motherfucker. As much power as he got, he can have that bitch bump the fuck off. Like she's never existed. And the paperwork will say that she committed suicide. She was on drugs. She jumped into Hudson River or whatever. 
He has the authority and the power to do that. So really, she's just probably in a stuck type of situation. She's stuck. But then there are some women that are on that level that are still dealing with the same type of consequences and circumstances as well and don't know how to get out of it. But I'm going to tell you right now, whatever you're doing, this motherfucker really has no feelings. He's completely shut down emotionally. You can't fight him. You can get fault, but you cannot fight him because he's already hurting. So he's trying to hurt you to make you feel what he's feeling because he's surrounded by all these motherfucking shadows and he got this mask that he has to show to the world. So when his life is low and when at the end of the day, whoever that is that he's laying next to, oh my God, they are getting the grunt of a whole bunch of shit. So ladies, when you see these women... And it's like, oh, my God, I wish I could be her. Oh, my God, he gives her so much stuff. Oh, my God, they're on a private jet. Oh, my God, did you see that ring he bought her? Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. You're watching this all over the place. And you have not a clue as to what the price this lady is paying as, as far as her soul is concerned. She probably don't even like this motherfucker. She probably can't even stand him. Their sex life is probably horrendous. She's probably just letting letting him go ahead on and get it, and she's just laying there. And a lot of these women that you guys are watching, you like, oh, my God, she's with him? Oh, my God, I can't imagine. Oh, my God, I want to be her. Oh, my God, look at that bag she got. Look at them shoes. Girl, she always on 10. Girl, can you imagine if I could just be with him? You don't know what these women are going through. I promise to God you haven't a clue. Because it's a whole lot that goes with it. Can these men be redeemed? Can they be changed? God is, is, God is a redeemer. Okay? So then therefore, he has died for our sins. So yes, you can be redeemed. But the thing is, you have to factor this in. Are you strong enough to go through this with him? Because you're weak as well. She's weak than a motherfucker. She's battling some things that motherfuckers have no idea about. And what she looks like is the best that she can look, really. That is her best. Because if therefore he, they got money to wear, whatever is wrong, she, they can fix it. So that is the best of her looks right there. What you see is her complete trophy status. That is her 11. That is his 11. Okay? So it lets you know how subjective that it is. But as you guys see all these women with all these different rappers and all these women with all these athletes and musicians and all of the like, it's a whole lot that goes with it. And behind the smiles and the Instagram pictures, there's a whole lot that these women are truly dealing with. And they have no vessel. They have no way out. They're accustomed to the lifestyle. They're accustomed to what's coming in. Oh, my God. And, and these men know it. They know that they can go out and they can fuck up. They can go and fuck all these different bitches. And they can go out and do all this shit. Grab pussies and all this kind of stuff. Because they know at the end of the day... When they come home, they come home with a Chanel. Okay, I'm mad at you right now. Do they? Do the women turn that shit back? Not really. But I'm mad at you right now. Thank you for this. But no, you're not getting no pussy tonight. Or going back wherever you was. Or whatever the case. But uh, is a woman going to accept those gifts? A woman is going to accept those gifts. Why? Because that is part of our weakness. So when you become a woman that has your own means, where do they go? Because they're not really riddled with that form of a weakness. And they have their own things that they've provided for themselves. So you would think that, they, that those ladies would be a major catch to a lot of these men. Not really. Because men are afraid of that type of strength. They don't want to be humbled that way. They feel as though that's considered as some type of hempeg. That's some 
I'm supposed to be the man and, you know, they deem that to be, you know, a weakness or something. You know, like that Samson and Delilah, you know what I mean? You know, he had all this strength, you know, and all his strength was pretty much just in his hair, you know. And then, you know, Delilah was his weakness. It seemed like something was on me. Like, you know, like you feel like little hairs or whatever. But, um, but yeah, you, oh, I see it. I see it. It's like a little hair messing with me. But, yeah, girls, this shit is crazy, man. But once again, where does the women go that got their own shit going? Men are afraid of them. They really, really are. They are totally intimidated by a woman that has her own shit because they want you to be subservient to them for the most part. You know what I mean? They want you to be subservient. and But they feel as though their power comes with their money. And if you're making more money than them, then therefore they can't really... It's like putting a strike against like their manhood or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, wow, you know, you know what's going on? <laughs> it's like, okay, it's like you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. If I go to school and get myself together and get myself in a position... The whereas I'm financially stable and I'm mentally level and, you know, I have a decent home life. Where's the men for those women? Or it seems like a man wants somebody that he could pretty much have a trophy on his arm and somebody that's completely weak and dependent upon him and that's what they want. And unfortunately, that is what it is. They want that form of control. And if a woman looks real, real good to them, oh my God. Oh, my God, you will run into all kinds of motherfucking mayhem on your ass. I understand why she's a little bit nervous, but then when she get a little voice, it's like, Shh, get up off me. You know what I mean? Shh, don't touch me. You know what I mean? Because now she's really, she's, at that moment in time, she was able to show, and she really didn't, she probably was completely oblivious to the cameras and everything, though she knew that they was there. Of course, she's married to the president. But at that point in time, she was like, oh, my God, I'm trying to get back up in this right here. I'm ready to go home. I don't know what to say to these people. I don't know how to talk to these people. I don't even know their language. But I had to go to be escorted by this stupid-ass motherfucker because, and therefore, he has a wife, and I had to go. But for the most part, I don't give a fuck about none of this. I don't know nothing about none. He don't even know nothing about this shit. But it's just the fact that... He's so driven by power. What is the biggest job you can ever have in this world besides trying to be God? Is to be the president of the United States. That's the biggest job you can ever have. And this motherfucker right here accomplished that. That is a true attest to the law of attraction. But the thing of it is, you can be this narcissist and you can be out here collecting souls and doing all these do loads to people. Then those are the very ones that later on in life, diabetes hit them, something hit them to where they're debilitated. Something just happens. And it's like, wow, they suffered. You know, they lost an arm or a limb or they lost their eyesight or something. They was riddled with so much cancer, it was just eating their ass up. It was like, wow, it's a shame on what that right there did to them. It eats them up because karma is a motherfucker. Now, he had been doing all this shit for years. Can you imagine the hurt? And he doesn't care. He's totally disconnected. So, ladies, whatever you do, you can tell this same person over and over and over and over and over and over. They don't know boundaries. They don't know respect. They know power. That is what they know. Overcoming. You know what I mean? By any means necessary. Be it force. Be it financial. Be it manipulation. It is their goal is to simply overcome. Overshadow. Overpower. You can't penetrate that. That is something that's bigger than you. And I understand it's like, well, how can I help? Or how can I, I know I could talk him about it is. And I know he just ain't met the right one yet to help him walk through this right here. He just needs some help. He's going to be all right. He just needs some help. But he has to request that help. You can't force that upon them. 
And if they're not going to go seek some counsel for their issues, there's absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Pussy is not going to change them. Conceding to their every demand is not going to change them. What it's going to do is separate you from yourself, from your personal life, from your nearest and dearest, be it your children, your family, or whatever the case. You're going to completely lose yourself and everything that you are trying to concede and conform to something that they don't even know what they want. All they know is they want to overpower. All they know is, I see you, baby. <laughs> give me a moment, pumpkin. Just give me a minute, baby. Jeez. 